The little boy who survived a hit and run last week is thanking everyone for their support as he continues to recover from his injuries. Fox 47's Ann Perrette sat down with him today to talk about what it's been like since being released from the hospital. Four-year-old Mason Humphreys is all smiles in his new wheels. It's cool. Mason suffered a fractured skull, a broken leg, and a few bruises after he was hit by a car last Monday. My white collar, uh, and I couldn't get up. I was going to check the mail. Mason spent most of last week in Ann Arbor's Mott's Children's Hospital. He was released Thursday. And my leg is almost better. But until his leg is all better, Mason is bound to a wheelchair. He's just young enough, he doesn't realize how hurt he is. Yeah. So, I mean, to him, yeah, he knows he's hurt, but he doesn't know how bad. Mason's mom and dad tell me it could have been worse. He had a messed up neck vertebrae. It was a little crooked, but it came back into place by they left, itself. They left the collar on him for the first day and a half. Okay. And then the hemorrhage in his right eye, but as you can see by looking at him, it's, it's getting a lot better. There you go. Their focus now is helping him get around. Mason's dad has been working on making their home wheelchair accessible. Yeah. To redo like the doorway thresholds and all that so they're not quite a drastic bump. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we had quite a bit of help. For that and for all of the support, Mason and his family are very thankful. It says thank you so much to everyone. Grateful and hopeful the driver who fled will be caught. I do not see a reason out there in a million years that you wouldn't stop to make sure, you know, a child that you just hit was okay. In Albion and Perrette, Fox 47 News. Now, detectives with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office are still looking for the driver. Mason's dad is asking everyone to slow down in neighborhoods because so many kids are playing outside and kids are unpredictable.